How did you get in here? Hey, well anyways, welcome to my wood shop. Today is a video on how I carved this cherry bowl out of a burl or a tree knot. So a while ago, mid quarantine of COVID, I think it was around April or so, a friend of mine who's a, who's a tree worker was working on a job and saw this cherry knot growing on the side of a tree. He cut it off and showed up to my house one day and said, Hey Dan, what, what do you think you can, what do you think you can make out of this thing? You know, it was all covered in bark and it was this gnarly looking hunk of wood. And, and so I, I took it and I took the whole thing and I covered it with anchor seal, which is a product. I'll, I'll link it in the description. Uh, it's a product used just to seal the end grain of, of wood to let it dry evenly. So I took this burl and I set it aside for a few months and didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> I've never carved a bowl. I don't know how to carve a bowl. I think I did a fair job, all things considered. So I took this, this burl after a few months of drying, not nearly enough time to actually dry completely. And I took a spade bit on my drill and I just started hogging out a whole bunch of holes. I ended up with a really terrible looking bowl shortly and realized that I needed something else. So I tried to use a couple little bits on a angle grinder. Those didn't seem to be working. I didn't have the right tooling. So I was back to the drawing board. So I ended up coming across a product made by Cutsall. It's a shaping disc and uh, it's got all these tiny little very coarse, very rough, sharp fingers on this little shaping wheel. And, uh, and this you just use on a, a standard four and a half inch angle grinder, and you can use it to start to hollow out the, the midsection of a bowl. And I, I use this and it got most of the material out, but just due to the design, I could only go down, you know, it was about two inches or so. So I couldn't get deep enough into the bowl to continue shaping. By the same company, Cuts All. Once again, I'll link these in the description so you can view them. Uh, they make a, a quarter inch rotary burbit that uh, you can use with a little quarter inch angle grinder. And, and that allowed me to, to really go in and, and fine tune my rough carving of my bowl. And so I ended up with a bowl that had all these deep gouges. and It, it was the right shape, but I, I couldn't get the gouges out of it. I tried sanding it and you know, after hours of just <laughs> sanding by hand, I, I gave up after a while and I recoated the thing with anchor seal to, to let it dry out some more. Some of the wood on the inside was still a bit soft. And so I wanted to try and let it dry out for a few, few months and see what that did. So a few months passed and I figured out a better way to sand the inside of a concave surface. And what I came up with is, uh, is this. And it's just a, a piece of a foam roller that I, I lopped off the end and I, I fed a bolt through it and I ground the threads of the bolt off so I could attach it to my quarter inch angle grinder. But what it is, is it's just, it's just two washers, a tiny little nut so that I can clamp the washers together and uh, a chunk of foam wrapped in duct tape for just to make it a little uh, longer lasting. And if you take a standard five inch uh, piece of sandpaper for a DA and you cut it so that way it has all of these eight, you know, all these eight little sections here, uh, leave the middle intact, obviously, otherwise you just end up with pieces. But uh, you can take your little adapter that you can make and you can slowly start taking each one of these little sections that you cut and you feed it between the two uh, clamping portions. And once you Play around with this for a little bit you can get these all fed in here real nice and you can get a uh, you can get a rounded flap wheel that you can use to sand the inside of a concave surface and and this is what really allowed me to finish this project so you can buy these and this is kind of how i got the idea is uh is if you go on rockler they actually sell a adjustable sized version of this and uh, 
Well, it's about $60 or so. And, and really, this was supposed to be just a, a cheap little, you know, could I do something with it project uh, between the different, uh, you know, little burr, you know, things that I bought and this, and this shaping wheel. I already had more money than I wanted to spend on this project to, to start. This was supposed to be just a, a cheap, you know, hey, can you make something out of it project? And uh, so instead of spending another $60 or so on another attachment, uh, I, I came up with this and it's, it's very crude, I'll give you that, but, uh, but it definitely does the trick. So because it's foam, it kind of, it shapes and, and kind of, uh, it just, it just works. <laughs> does it work well? Eh, it works okay. Uh, after a little bit of use, the sandpaper starts to break off and it flies into pieces. Um, if you had to do a bunch of bowls, I would obviously buy the attachment, but because I was just, I was only wanting to sand the inside of a bowl, uh, this ended up doing the trick and it worked perfectly so I could sand the inside of all of these surfaces. And that's, that's pretty much how I got the bowl to, to look like this. Uh, what I did for, for a, a product to seal it, because this is going to be a, a bowl that's going to sit on a friend of mine's bar, um, I ended up just using a, a product that you put on a, a butcher block, and it's just a, it's a little bit of mineral oil and a, a couple different waxes, and I just I, I applied a few coats of that on the inside to make this to make this a completely food safe bowl. Um, could I have used varnish or polyurethane? Yes. Would it be fine? Yes, but I wanted to I wanted to leave it natural looking, without uh, without putting too much of a shine on it or or really taking away from the unique wood grain that you see there. Um, sometimes when you apply polyurethane, it starts to look plasticky and it doesn't it, it wouldn't look right for this for this application. But uh, but anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much how I made this cherry bowl. It was just these these couple of little shaping tools and, uh, and a homemade sanding device. Anyways, thanks for watching. If, uh, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe and it'll allow me to create more content. Thanks. Take care.